Curtis Davis. Welcome to the show. Bless you. How are you? Yeah, good, good, good. Very good. Just walking around this stadium, pretty big stadium. How many people uh, are sat in here on a Saturday or a Sunday? Well, our, our attendances lately haven't been great, obviously, yep. um, because of the way we've been doing, I guess. But yep. it usually, yeah, if we, we can max out around 20, I think. But I think the stadium, I think, holds around 33 or something like that. Okay. What would you say is kind of like your main highlight of your career so far? Um, without a doubt, um, as minor as it might seem to people, when winning the league um, with Luton. Yes. Uh, winning the league one because it was my first season uh, professional football. And like I say, to win anything, um, a lot of people can play 20 years in their career. They might never win a league title. So. At least I've got that in the bank, and um, I say a league title, and I got the player of the division. So it was a it was a good start to my professional career. What defender have you looked at and maybe modelled yourself on growing up? Um, I, I don't know about modelling myself on him because he's a he's a different league to me, obviously. But um, Rio Ferdinand. Yeah. Um, what makes him so good? Just especially when he was young, his um, his composure, his his willingness to to play football and join in the actual game. Um, he was one of our modern, recent modern day footballers of the English brand. How do you relax when you're off the pitch? Off the pitch, a lot of the time it's um, spent my little girl, really. Um, I think regardless of how football's going, regardless of what's happening around you, um, she puts life into perspective. You're known for your honesty uh, when talking to the press. Uh, who is the best player you've ever played against <coughs> that maybe, you know, gave you a bit of a torrid time, would you say? Um, do you know what, it's, it's tough because sometimes it's not the person that actually ability-wise is the best or literally runs me ragged for the whole game. Yes, yeah. it's, it's the people that sometimes, like I played against Michael Owen when I was at West Brom yeah. and he'd done nothing the whole first half. He scored with his first touch second half, scored again five minutes later, end of news. Yeah. So that's, that's the, the sort of level. Uh, as I said, you're you know a model professional off the pitch, on the pitch as well, you've got great ability, you're admired for your honesty as well. Um, so a lot of people look up to you, very inspirational, but what is left for you to achieve? What do you want to achieve within the near future? Or, is it, or do you not look that far ahead, you just take every game as it comes? Um, I, I say, yeah, you do try and take each game as it comes, but you obviously you do have a bit of a plan. And my plan is to obviously try and get back to the Premier League and um, play football there because I believe I've got unfinished business. I think yeah. um, the way things ended for me, with me in the Premier League, um, it was tough to take basically. My last game in the Premier League was scoring at the cop end, um, like for, for Aston Villa in a 3-1 in win. And people since then have told me I'm not a Premier League player.